What is up, everybody? Brett Mess here. Yes, I know I'm going to ask, did I beat this game just a couple days ago? Yes, I did, and we got all the costumes. So, the first one who I'm going to start with in this one, it is, well, Star-Lord. The character you, you only get to play as in the game. So, we got number one, standard Star-Lord. And yes, this is uh, the parents of the game. While well, you uh, play the game, and uh, you you don't mind me by that. We got Nova Lord, which well, is just Star Lord in the Nova Chords outfit. I mean, not too crazy about it. I mean, it, it's also the same gear that is designed. For the game too, and we got Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Studios movie costume from 2014. Uh, yeah, would have been cool if they added the faces of the the movie e cast like Chris Pratt, uh, Bradley Cooper, Batista, and um. Van Diesel and we got the bad lord so to me I want to say this just looks like uh, Star Lord when he was a kid but just really weird that he has the exact same costume and the exact same logo on his jacket like the standard lord and we got the Apocalypse Lord. Uh, this one is from 2015 called the Age of Apocalypse variant. That is literally Star Lord as a demon, I think. I'm not for sure. And we got the War Lord. Now, yes, I know all you're going to ask, did I use this one, like, at the end of the game? Yes, and it's from the Conquest Star-Lord comic book from 2007. I mean, hey, this one's, like, my most favorite one ever, but I don't know about you guys, but, eh. We got Team Lord. Now, if I am thinking this correctly, this is actually part of the pre-order DLC... When you guys pre-order the game from GameStop, and you get the costume just like that. We got the Gold Lord. Was just like a white variant of the same costume that Star Lord has, like right here. But he doesn't wear the jacket. And we got Sleek Lord. Now, yes, I know what I'm going to say, ha where have we seen this outfit before? Um, yes, I'm going to say it, and I said it in the live stream. It's actually the outfit from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. The one from 2013 that got re-released for the Nintendo Switch. Which, I find this really interesting, because... It's just like the same thing I saw a little Lego minifinger, which a lot of people was complaining about that. That looked absolutely nothing like Star-Lord. Now, this one is called Ace lord So, this one is like, I want to say his debut attire. And what's really freaking weird about this attire, his belt and belt buckle just is like a spider web. But, I'm not too crazy about this one at all. Don't know why. I never actually cared for it. So, yeah. Uh, City Lord. Um, this one I most definitely used, but not towards the end of the game. But, the one I just used, like I said, was the War Lord. Do I even have this thing up? Yeah, I do. And, um, yeah, and it's also from the game that's, like, owned by the game, too, part of the DLC. So, Sun Lord, now, this one 
It's actually from the 2020 issue 9 of Guardians of the Galaxy. That came out back on December 9th, 2020. Which was like almost a year ago. Which, it looks like a diamond that's purplish red. Red, orange, yellow, I think. I'm not for sure. And... We got the social lord that appeared in the all new Guardians of the Galaxy comic book, issue one. Um, I thought you would have to make a Square Enix account to get this outfit, but I unlock it after I beat the game. So, yeah. Um. And next one who we're going to do is Rocket Raccoon. So we got the standard outfit. We got the Guardians of the Galaxy outfit. That's actually from the movie, like how Star-Lord is. And the Apocalypse Rocket Raccoon variant, actually. The Smuggler from the all-new Guardians of the Galaxy. And we have Rocket's very first costume, which is appeared in Rocket Raccoon from 1985. Which I didn't know Rocket had his own comic book before he joined Guardians of the Galaxy. But, um, yeah. And we got the Golden Guardians that is part of the game. Just like this outfit, the standard outfit, and the Golden Guardians. We got the Nova Corps outfit. That's also like the others, but we will get to the others shortly. And last but certainly not least, the Stinger. That appeared in the Rocky Raccoon comic book from 2017. And uh, what's really weird, he doesn't have the little uh, goggles on his forehead, except for sunglasses. Which I just find them very interesting. And we got Groot. We got the standard outfit Groot. We got Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie from 2014. We got the Five Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which to me he just reminds me of a tree version of Spawn from the Spawn comics, but. That's nothing I have to do with Guardians. So, yeah. We got Impaler, which is from Guardians of the Galaxy issue 1 from 2019. Which I just find this costume really weird because I have never seen Groot with a mohawk before. So, yeah. And we got the Conquest suit that is. From the Conquest Star Lord comics from 2007. We got the Nova Corps. Corps outfit. Five o'clock sprouts from Infinity Countdown. And the Golden Guardians uh, Groot, which is literally just the one that looks like that, but he doesn't have the little shoulder pad on him. So, yeah. Now we're going to get with Gamora. We got the standard outfit. That's, like, part of the game. We got the Gamora from 2014. Which, like I said, I wish they should add the movie actors to this game to voice the uh, MCU costumes. Like, just imagine if... So Sully Sedona, the actress who plays Gamora in the movies. A little bit cool to have her voice in it. We got the Nova Corps Gamora. And we got the Age of Apocalypse variant of Gamora. Which, this one, not too shabby about it. We got the Casual Kill that appeared from... Infinity Gauntlet 
issue 2 from 2015. And we got the Black Vortex suit, which I might remember this is a DLC also for the pre-order with the other three. And it appeared on the first issue of Guardians of the Galaxy and X-Men Black Vortex Alpha Issue 1. We got Chosen Daughter, which this one, she does not have to like the red streaks in her hair. Her hair is just like black. And this one appeared in Gamora Issue 1 for 2016. And we got the Golden Guardians Gamora from the game. And we got Drex. We got the standard outfit. We got the movie Guardians of the Galaxy outfit. That's actually from the first movie. We got the Nova Corp outfit. We got his cage match, which to me, I feel like this is a reference to him being part of a UFC match. Because you can tell he has like the shorts on, wrist tapes. And what's really interesting about this, CM Punk, the AEW wrestler, or I'm just thinking about a different CM Punk. I, I don't know, but yes, I think AEW's wrestler, CM Punk, wrote, is the writer of this one. But I will have to look it up. We got the in Thanos Imperative outfit. Which, this one is from the same thing that it says on the outfit's name from 2010. And I just found it uh, really weird that I have seen Drax wear a cape. We got the mock from the all new Guardians of the Galaxy issue 1. Uh, I think... Uh, I, I, if I am correct about this, I think in this version of Drax, I think he used to be a Shellen Mock, like a super heavyweight one. I'm not for sure, but yeah. And now this one just kind of confuses me. Now we got the Age of Apocalypse variant of Drax here, which to me, like, he just looks like Kratos in black and orange from God of War. With a thong on. I, I, I'm just saying that, at, at not to be weird or nothing. I'm just saying that he looks like Kratos with a thong on. With a thong on. <laughs> okay. Enough about that. And we got the Golden Guardians outfit. That appeared in the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy video game. The outfits. So yeah, guys, which one is y'all's favorite outfit? Let me know down in the comments below. My favorite outfit is the Sun Lord. The movie Guardians of the Galaxy outfit. Team Lord and War Lord. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.